I think the, the comparison is apt in a very superficial way. Warhol's greatest contribution to art history was that he was an anti-artist. You know, he made the best anti-art. And as important as that is to, you know, be a mirror to society and, you know, reflect what's going on, I'm not interested in anti-art. I'm not gonna wear a costume and, and be a clown and, you know, put a silly wig on. I'm trying to make something, you know, more sincere. I'm drawn toward and I'm attracted to images for which there's an underlying set of rules. It makes me feel like I am searching for the truth in an image. And once I've found that truth and resolved that problem and solved that puzzle that I've set up for myself, then I can set it aside and move on to the next one. And it is forever the truth. And there's, for me, there's no subjectivity within the image and there's no subjectivity within the drawing. It's either correct and done and right or it's wrong. I think every generation gets the artist that they deserve and gets the art that they deserve and or rather more accurately gets the art that is a reflection of their generation. Mm -hmm.